Hi everyone, it's Adriana from Adriana's Paper Crafts. Um, this video is to show you how to assemble your chip bag once you have printed your own design. Um, if you're here because you purchased um, already pre-assembled bags and you just want to know how to close them properly, um, this video is not for you. That will be in a different video. Um, and this video is also not how to um, create the chip bag design. Again, this one is just for how to actually assemble it once you've already printed it out, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first things first, you will be needing either a pair of scissors or uh, a paper trimmer um, and then some kind of glue. I prefer hot glue, but you can also use wet glue. Uh, you can use double-sided adhesive strips or you can even go so far as to use Elmer's uh, glue sticks, but I don't really suggest those just because I can't guarantee how long that glue is going to last. So. Once you have your supplies and you've already got your designs printed out, what you want to do first is decide if you want to keep the white border. Now, not all designs will print this way depending on the printer and then, of course, what settings you print it on. But for, of course, this video, let's just say that you printed it as anyone really does, um, which is, of course, full page with a white border around it. And now for this one, um, I think I did it both ways. This is a, just a, a, an extra copy I had left over from my son's birthday party. Um, I believe I actually had trimmed all the white borders. And then I think for some, I left them. That part is completely up to you. Now, some bags, depending on the design, will actually require that white border, but may require you to trim off at least one of the, one of the sides. What I mean is, uh, take this LOL chip bag design. Um, it is faded. This is just an extra that I had left over because I didn't like how it printed, so don't mind that. Um, but what I mean is that this bag, I designed it so that the white border would, would uh, stay, However, I created this pink glitter line here so that it would meet up at the end on the other side. So what that means is that for that line to fit perfectly in the middle, I have to trim this white border right here. So I'm going to do that real quick. If you have a paper trimmer, I do suggest using that because it's a lot faster. I mean, if you've got like 20 bags to do, it's going to be really fast. So um, yeah, so it would look like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and actually just keep going with the superhero one. Um, what you'd want to do after you've trimmed off anything, if you actually have, then what you want to do is meet the ends together. This one kind of has been through a lot. Let me grab another one. All right, so you're going to meet the ends together and then just make sure that your placement is well. What I mean by that is you don't want this. I'm off center here so you're getting part of my front design on the back you don't want that because then the front is going to be all off you see how the letters cut off no you want it to be nice and center so I actually need to move it over and of course when you do this on a flat surface it's much easier than doing it in the air like I am right now but I just want to show you so that right there is pretty good. So once you have that, go ahead and again, on a flat surface, meet your ends together. Overlap them, of course. And then lightly crease down the top and bottom edges. So I met them together and I lightly creased here, 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 and here. So then when you open it, it just looks like that. See that? So it kind of holds its shape. So again, when, once you've got your crease going, lay it down and pick which side of the white borders you want to go ahead and put your glue on. Um, I personally designed it to where my line here would cover up this part. So I'm going to do it like that. I don't want it like this. I want it like this. Actually, no, I may want it like that. Yeah, I'll do it like that. <laughs> so you're gonna lay down your glue. Um, you just wanna make sure to not get glue everywhere because you don't want to end up accidentally um, gluing your chip bag closed. So 
with hot glue. I happen to prefer that because even though it burns the bejesus out of my fingers, it is the fastest thing to work with. So if it gets stuck in the middle, make sure to hurry up and get in there and you know, so that it doesn't stick. So it should look like that. All right, now from there, if you wanna be extra or if you're a party planner um, or just a crafter like I am, uh, you can go ahead and crimp the top and bottoms. So that's what I'm gonna do very quickly. Sorry about that. This is my paper crimper. Um, I believe I ordered it from Joann's because they don't sell it in store, or at least not my store. Um, you just stick it in there. There's different kinds of crimpers out there. Um, again, if, if you're just going to have a chip bag every once in a while, you don't need this because it's going to cost you like 20-something dollars. And if you're only going to use it once a year, there's no point, you know? But um, I really like the detailing it adds to this bag. So, you see that? Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness, you can't really tell on the bottom. Sometimes, I don't know, it just looks better one way or the other. Anyways, I love how that looks. So, from there, again, if you're doing these at home and you're about to fill these, go ahead and glue the, um, actually, if you are doing these at home, so sorry, my biggest suggestion would be to go ahead and put the chip bag in here while your bottom and top is still open. Um, and the, the reason for that is because you can then maneuver it from either side. You can pull it this way. You can pull it this way. Um, it gives you a little bit more leeway. I did not bring a chip bag with me. Um, and I used to have, yeah, we're going to use this. This is not chips. These are not chips. This is a <laughs> little bag of cereal, but it's about the same size. Um, so I found that the easiest way to fill them is to go ahead and put it in here while your bottom is still open so that you can stick your hand in there and pull it down. And then what you want to do from there is kind of shake it around so that it's nice and flat. And then stick glue on the bottom here. Now, if you've already glued one of your ends before you put in your chip bag, did you see you guys, did you see how I did that? I have to push down the hot glue with my chin. <laughs> um, if you've already glued one of your edges down, it's fine. You can still do it. I'm just letting you know that it's a little bit easier when you have both the top and the bottom open. So, and then of course, go ahead and shake it up a little bit more if you need to until you get a good placement going. So I think that's beautiful. That's a nice, nice, like little bitty curve. It's not all warped or anything. Um, because sometimes if your chips are like way too much at the top, it ends up warping everything and it ends up looking just really ugly and I can't stand it. So make sure you got it nice and kind of flat. Make sure to pinch down everything to just to kind of visualize what it's gonna look like. And I like that. I think that's a good placement. So then I'm gonna go ahead and put some more glue down. Again, you can use wet glue, self-adhesive strips, um, whatever you like. But hot glue for me is just the fastest. And there you go. There is your chip bag. Um, everybody has their own way of doing this. This is just how I do it. It's also the fastest way that I have found to do it, as well as the, um, I don't know, just the best way. Because <laughs> some people, they assemble their chip bags and then they crimp it. But I have found that for some reason um, it crimps better when I haven't added glue, when I don't have anything in my bag. So that's why I do it before I actually finish it. Um, but I love this. It is so cool, isn't it? All right, you guys. Um, I will try, of course, to keep making more tutorials for you guys. I'm new to YouTube as far as posting things, so be patient with me. And if you have any questions, you guys, most of you guys already know how to reach me. You can DM me on Instagram. You can reach me on Etsy or also Facebook. I also have a Facebook group if you want to join. Um, but I'll probably be posting most of my tutorials on here instead. So, um, yeah, and if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys.